This morning, rescue teams from across the country making their way to the northeast where flash flooding is forcing evacuations. Take a look at this video here. Intense rainstorms from over the past few days causing streets to turn into rivers. In fact, last night, more than 50 people were rescued in Vermont. Some towns inaccessible right now and some areas north of New York City received a summer's worth of rain in six hours. The damage there being compared to tropical storm Irene more than a decade ago. Meanwhile, here in Texas, we are dealing with triple digit temperatures as Mariel Ruiz joins us to talk about what is normal for this time of year. I, I feel like with recent summers, I'm not sure what normal looks like anymore. Yeah, a lot of us don't know what, what it feels like. I mean, we've received some numbers that we haven't seen since the 1980s when we're talking about humidity, and that's what makes the feels like or the heat index just soar. We saw a heat index of 116 this summer, which again, hasn't been seen in many Many years, but it's not just North Texas. It's the most of the state that's dealing with some kind of a heat alert. So let's go ahead and talk about some of these stats. Normal for summer 92.3 degrees, and that's taking into consideration our overnight temperatures. Last summer was a hot one. 97.5 was the average temperature this summer so far. 94.5 so hotter than normal. Yes, but not as bad as last summer. Let's talk about average low temperatures because we have been watching these numbers very closely. This number generally what we see in the morning time. 72.9 is normal. Last year was well above that in this summer. 74.6, meaning we're not cooling down as much as we need to be in order to recover overnight. OK, so normal up to this point in the summer, we generally see about four triple digit heat days. Last summer was a brutal one with 17 by this point last year and this year at about six 